testing the effects of the resistance training mask on athletic performance. You put a mask on and instead of breathing through a normal sized hole where your nares in your mouth, you're breathing through both of those compressed into smaller resistors. And the theory is, is that it makes you a better ventilator and increases your performance at high exertion. People use it for training a lot of times uh, because they think if you, you know, resist the airway when you have the mask on, when you take it off, uh, it'll be easier to breathe and you'll strengthen you know, the, your breathing muscles. So right now we're kind of in the planning stages, uh, putting all the equipment together. These students are testing them. We're trying to design a method first. Then we're going to go out and ask trained athletes to put it through its paces on a 400 meter track. And we'll ask questions about if it actually does what it claims to do. Uh, and if so, how does it do it? So we made a little rig so we can test oxygen, CO2 levels, as well as airflow and resting heart rate. We're gonna put it to a pretty hardcore test and be able to rule in and rule out hypoxia. Professor Zwimmer has been great. Anywhere else, I really doubt that I could have just gone to Zwimmer with the idea and he would have turned around and supported it like he did. So I'm really thankful that there's that opportunity here at Dickinson. Bringing very highly talented students into the research lab outside of the classroom where we can actually add to the building of new knowledge is very important, not just for their experience, but to move the field forward. And we're fortunate at the college to have the resources and the talented students to get this done.